Hey guys, Sarge here. What we're going to be talking about today uh, is a light option from Surefire. I'm sure you guys have heard of them, right? Uh, they are the leading light maker for military and police, okay? As well as the private civilian. I've always uh, looked at Surefire as being kind of the top dog uh, when it comes to their lights and, and the overall performance that they give. I've always rated Surefire as number one, um, and today we're going to look at one of their products. So about a year ago, guys, the Surefire Stiletto uh, came out on the market, and it could have been more than a year ago. Uh, I apologize if that time frame is off. Came out on the market, created a lot of buzz. Um, for me, it really didn't create that much buzz due to the fact of it is a rechargeable light. I am not a big fan of rechargeable lights. Um, primarily due to the mindset being if I'm in an air if I'm in an area where I don't have the capabilities to charge the light have that USB port what am I gonna do whereas if I just get a light that runs on batteries I can keep extra batteries around right um, so that's why I kind of steered away from it through some of the courses uh, that I've went to and the courses that I've taught I've had a lot of students bringing lights like Streamlight, um, Olight, I believe one of them is called Phoenix, so a bunch of different brands, okay? Um, and with those different brands, we saw a lot of different performance. Uh, and, and I can say all day to I'm blue in the face, hey, you should, you know, as a self-defense, everyday carry, your number one light source should run on batteries because you can easily replace the batteries. Well, I can say that, however, if someone else doesn't believe that to be true and they want to carry a light that is rechargeable because that suits them the best well then I want to ensure that they have the best rechargeable light out there that's what we have here today so if we have to have a rechargeable light look no further than the surefire stiletto okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna go over some of the specifications of it real quick and then we're gonna look a little bit more in detail with it, okay? So with the Surefire Stiletto, uh, it does come in three settings. The first setting is low and this is running at approximately five lumen. Medium, and this is running at approximately 250 lumen. And then we have high, which is running at approximately 650 lumen. Okay, so we can see that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn this main light off, and then we'll be able to look at it. So here is low. Okay, here is medium. All right, and here is high with that 650 lumen. Now, what this test is not showing you is what the output, uh, the, the throw of the light, really is able to do right and and what I will tell you is I have had several lights uh, prior to this one where man they're insanely bright but super up close uh, you, you can't see much past about 10 feet uh, that is not the case with this light they have it measuring out to about 78 meters uh, the furthest that I've done it to is 52 meters and it's worked and when I say it's worked I could perfectly see everything within that 52 meters uh, that I was shining the light at and that was on the medium and high setting okay uh, with the low setting you could you know get out there a little bit but man you really couldn't couldn't tell uh, too much now if it was a, a uh, human standing out there you would be able to tell okay yeah, it's a human um, and you wouldn't be surprised if it started walking up closer to you as to what it was okay so very good with the throw um, it, it's a pretty solid light. So what we're going to look at now are just some of the features of it, okay? So with it, you have your USB. This is just the charging area here, okay? So plugs in. Simple enough. Cool thing with this light is it runs in green, yellow, and red, okay? And that green, yellow, and red will change the LED there for showing when it is full, medium and then running low okay um, so with the light that's a good estimator uh, as well as seeing okay hey estimating how much light do I have left when should I charge it well it's good to kind of have that fuel gauge uh, on the light itself and not having to wait until the light dies to figure out hey I need to charge it okay 
uh, with the light. We have our constant on and off button right here, okay? Now, if I wanna go from low, medium to high, and I wanna do it constant on and off, how do I do it? Here is how. So, constant on and off for, for the low, right? Here's the lowest setting. Now, if I want to go from low to medium, all I'm gonna do is just click this twice, okay? There we go. Now let's say I want to go from the low to the highest setting. I'm going to just click it three times. One, two, three. And it is at the highest setting, 650 lumen. Easy enough, right? I am not a big fan of constant on, constant off. I like having momentary. Well, that's what we have right back here. So we do have momentary on. Very little pressure needed to activate the light. What it also has, which I think is pretty cool, guys, is if you click the momentary on button three times, it has a strobe feature for the highest setting. So that 650 lumen strobe, okay? So I think that's, that's pretty cool. Um, definitely for momentary on and off, you're really not killing the battery that much, um, especially if you're just looking, okay, where are my keys at? Or maybe you're out walking the dog and you just wanna look in the wood, in the wood line real quick. Um, I, I think it would do you just fine uh, doing that okay now on the body of the light we do have a clip here okay and I wish that surefire would give this clip design to knife makers because this is one of the best pocket clips I have ever used uh, very easy to slip slip over the pocket right and easy to take out and it is not moving unless you intend it to move uh, so solid job there. Now I've seen a bunch of reviews and I've heard a lot of people talking about it as to why the, the bezel is not facing downward. Okay, and they talk about all these issues that they've had, whatever else. Every light I've ever used has bezel facing up. If you actually want to talk about properly, and I'm not going to say properly because I'm sure there could be a bunch of other people that say, well, this is the proper way to do it. Uh, but in a martial sense, What's going to get it in action fastest? Uh, bezel up, in my personal opinion, is the best way to go. That's my opinion. You can have yours. Uh, I don't really care. Okay, so things to look at with the light, guys, is yes, it is rechargeable, but it comes with the, the visual aid for when we need to charge it, right? So right off the bat, that's pretty solid. Um, that, that is an awesome feature for it to have. Price point, okay, uh, you're looking at about $100 or less, okay, depending on where you get it at, but we're looking at about $100 for the light. With that, you're coming with a Surefire warranty, so if anything does happen to it, good to go. You guys are kind of getting a little too dedicated with warranties a little too much to where, oh man, like Vortex has a super good warranty. Well, that warranty does nothing for me if I need the object to work and it doesn't work, right? So if like I need the light to work because like, there's some sketchy people coming towards me and I need to get a good shine on them before I draw my gun or something to that effect and the light does not work, I can't mail it in right then and there uh, to the manufacturer. So the warranty did nothing for me, right? But buying a Surefire, uh, it, it kind of eases the mind a little bit with knowing I'm buying quality and I'm not having to, uh, is it gonna work this time? Uh, because they just have that reputation and a lot of people are gonna get upset about this, but it's just like Glock. Uh, not too many people are worried about drawing a Glock out of their holster, not having it uh, properly function unless they've done something to the gun. Okay, so so in my opinion, uh, Surefire is the Glock of lights. All right, so we're, we're looking at about the $100 marker here. Uh, the body is polymer, and there's no issues with that. Okay, no issues with that. Polymer body, metal clip. Uh, the controls do have, let me see if I can get this, there is texturing on all the buttons, okay? So even if it's in your pocket or um, you're not physically uh, looking at it, right? You're not going to think you're hitting the button and miss it completely, okay? So you will know, okay, there's the button, turn it on, turn it off, and be good to go. Uh, but I've used this light now for a couple days. It's worked just fine. I am gonna start doing some drop testing with it um, and seeing what all the light can do, seeing how long can I go without having to charge it, uh, things of that effect, right? Let me know what you guys wanna see from this, uh, and, and I will do everything that is within reason, okay? I'm not running over the light with my car, I'm not doing that, uh, but I would do everything within reason, and and I'll put some things into, into a mindset piece. Uh, next time we're out up at 
out at the range to show you guys maybe some things to consider uh, if you don't carry a light every single day because you absolutely should. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, if you guys are interested in these products, I highly recommend you check out LA Police Gear. Uh, they, they normally have some of the better pricing for a lot of the products that I show here on the channel. Um, LA Police Gear, solid company. Uh, I've been getting stuff through them for a long time now, so I highly recommend them. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything else that I did not cover that maybe you want uh, answered with that, let me know in the comment section uh, for this video, and I will do my best to answer all those. Stay tuned for more, guys. Sarge out.